Sounds like Garrett. <laughs> was it a music festival? It's a little yeah. foggy right now. He loves his music festivals. Do I have to play the next hand? Did I do the straddle or no? Say it again. When can I walk? When can it get up without? Oh, I don't know. You can just like buy the blinds later. Just get up whenever you want to. Or no, but I, everybody has to straddle, right? Yeah, we're so all need, straddle. Yeah. So then I need to but straddle. But if you miss a few hands, you could buy it. I'm saying. So I'll just straddle and then I can walk, right? Basically. If you straddle and walk, it's fine. Yeah. The Andy Garrett show. We've seen these two tangle before. Three bet from Garrett. With the ace queen, and this is uh, interesting and because you got a cut off open and, and then a button three 12, bet. 000, 000, exactly right. And just a flat with kings. Yeah. They are deep. It's the toughest opponent you're ever going to find. If you're in Andy's seat, looking over to your left. When it comes to it, you see both players have a heart in their hand. Andy with the king, though. And Garrett bets 10,000 into 21.9. Andy calls. Andy manages to play quickly and give away nothing about his hand. I love it. All right, we're going to see a big pot here, Dave. Looks like 33,000. 31, pardon me. 32,000. No, okay. 32. Split the difference. So pot now 73.9, 32 for Andy to call. Nothing to do here but call. And then are you checking every river if you're Andy? Absolutely. There's the call, pot now, six figures. I like that Andy used 20 seconds there. Feign a little weakness, that's a beautiful card if you're holding the two kings. Okay. Now the only question is, does Garrett empty the clip? Does he go for the triple barrel? I mean, I think against most opponents, he would. He knows Andy's stuck. He might want to give up here, but hates doing it. He's uh, really happy he gave up now when he sees the Kings. Yes, that's the very top of Andy's. Open the cutoff, call the three bet from the button range. That was interesting. When Garrett, sometimes you know Garrett's just going to barrel off. It's usually against a less sticky opponent than Andy. But he usually goes a little bit smaller on the turn, I think. So maybe he was just trying to win it on the turn or bink the river. It would have been interesting if the river, if something had come on the river that a queen would have been the most interesting card. Queen, uh, maybe a heart? He had the queen of hearts? Does he bluff that? I don't know. Nonetheless, Garrett back in it. He's going to raise the cutoff with ace 10. Eric three betting on the button with nine deuce. Love this guy. How can you not love him? Does and he show? Garrett folds the ace 10 off. No show from Eric. Adds on 100K plus. That always makes you feel a little bit better. Oh, well, that's what I meant to do.